Well, I made it through the night. This is my setup. It snowed a lot. The gaming PC luckily was putting off some heat. It's still pretty windy, I think it's still snowing. In an extremely realistic and likely scenario, YouTuber Basically Homeless, sponsored by Micro Center, was stranded with only an extremely powerful PC. All I can think when I get this is beef, literal cows right now. An inflatable tent, a small like ration of beans, and this short list of other items. <laughs> Looks like Patrick Star in Ultra HD mode. With a dwindling will to live, light years from his home, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Mr. Homeless had to test if a PC setup could in fact save his life. Storm is coming. The most raw power I've ever put in a computer. And this is definitely not just an excuse to build an epic gaming setup in the middle of nowhere where there are no responsibilities so I can game all night with my bros. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. If you look closely at the weather in the entire northern hemisphere right now, you can see this right here, this little bump and this front that's coming in. Um, and so if you get the technical scientific term for this, it's called balls cold. So to test if a gaming PC could put off enough heat to save my life in the wilderness, I first dug out a flat patch of dirt so I could set up my tent. Looks pretty good. Got a little dirt patch that I might die on. And then I put my tent right there, got the gaming PC inside of it, and that will heat me and keep me alive. Now, the balls cold storm is likely gonna have a lot of wind snow, <laughs> so sub-zero temperatures, not even kidding. Negative two? So I staked the tent into the ground super well, inflated it, and honestly, I had no idea what to expect because I got this thing on sale on Amazon and it had zero reviews, bro, I risked it. Because it looked so good, man, and it usually, usually doesn't pan out. But this thing was sick! Dude. <laughs> this thing is huge! <laughs> How about the game right here, bro? We got a window? Thing is gigantic, bro. This is crazy, dude. I'm gonna set up like this. I'll be sitting right here. But it still was basically gonna blow away, so I had to stake it into the ground even more. Once I had it set up, I had to seal it with some flex tape. This way, the ball's cold wilderness couldn't just come in through the mesh. In theory, the heat from my PC could accumulate faster than it exits. Because if it doesn't, I might die and then never be able to edit this video and then I'd have to have someone use an AI voice generator for this voiceover. With that done, it's time to build a PC. Now, watts equals heat. That's just how it is. So I needed to get a PC that could pull as many watts as possible. Beep. I apologize for how nerdy this is about to get. The PCI lanes, man. If you're actually someone's mom who got sent this link because someone said this is what they wanted for Christmas, just skip to the time shown on screen now. <laughs> this is a chunky boy. This, I was looking at this in the store, dude, and I was like, oh, oh, oh dude. Ah. You know what I'm saying? That's insane, dude. Seven PCI 4.0 slots. In order to create the most watts and therefore the best chance of survival, I went with one of the new Threadripper 7000s. It's actually the smallest of all the Threadrippers. Kind of describes how I view myself worth, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's still stinking big. Yeah. I feel like I need to read some instructions or something, but instead I think I'm just gonna go for it. Wow. <laughs> Hi, dear. Oh. Beef. Literal cows. Oh, that's heavy, dude. Lift up retention frame and rail frame, then remove socket protector. Do not touch pins. I'm gonna touch the pins, dude. I'm gonna touch the pins. I'm not gonna touch the pins. I'm not gonna touch the. I want to touch the pins. They told me not to. But the Threadripper actually does matter. Not only does it have like. Moo! I'm a moo cow. Great overclockability and lots of cores, and it's called a Threadripper. Oh, yo, that was a very spicy click. One. Two, three. It also has PCI lanes. Everybody tell your mom this is what you want for Christmas. See what she does. <laughs> Look at all these slots, dude. Here's a normal one. Got one, two, and then two mini slots. Here's the thing though, is this slot, Look way down in there. Not enough lanes I would freeze. On this one, you can fit all kinds of beefy stuff in there and it'll all function. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Putting in lots of RAM, dude. This RAM does not fit. See the notch? Different spot. And so now I've got to order some like weird server memory. No, really, you can trust me. I definitely know what I'm doing, for real. This is the case that I used on the horse PC. 
horse PC. We're taking that bad boy out because we need a beefier one. This one does a thousand watts, but I'm putting in a 1600 or got her out of there. It's important though, you can't use the same cables because that will destroy everything that you love. I did it once, fried a bunch of important stuff. Wow, the Micro Center guy who built this one did a great job. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. No, seriously, this is my number one recommendation if you want to have a PC built for you. You can do it online. They'll build it in a few hours. It's crazy. I really snuck that up on you, didn't I? Oh my goodness, look at this. This one's so big. Very nice. What's Ock? 600 what? Oh no, I got dirt in my PC, bro. Where'd the dirt come from? The gaming setup is powered by a horse right now. All right. <clears throat> the surface area of this cooler is not beefy enough. So I'm taking it out. This is supposed to be one that is big enough. It's backwards. Finally. I feel like that took me 15 years. Bro, why I gotta be like this? Wow, that took entirely too long, but it's in there. Cable management. Ooh. I definitely did not just take me like 12 hours. Looks like it's upside down. It's not, right? It's not upside down, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I wouldn't go in if it was upside down, right? Right? All right, let's put this bad boy in there. It's definitely not upside down. Oh, I dropped it a little. It's probably fine, it's probably fine. So I think you only have to plug in one of these. That's if you're a stinking normie. Now, if you're me, and you're gonna overclock the thing to like nine billion watts to save your life in a winter storm? You plug that one in. Oh, dang, this one plugs in over here. This, I gotta read the manual, bro. Oh, I don't plug that one in. Okay, that one causes damages. <laughs> USB 3.0, boom. Motherboard power, boom. USB 3.0, boom. Beefy six pin, one, boom. Nice, and then we got a USB plug here. Mm. Dude, I almost just drooled on the whole thing as I was plugging it in, bro. My mouth was hanging wide open. Oh my goodness, the front panel is a full single cable. I'm gonna cry. It's perfect. And then HD audio, boom. Nice. I did it. Turns out, on the PSU, I gotta plug that thing in to enable overclocking mode, dude. It's buried in there. It's like right where my finger is right now. Why would I disregard this earlier? Literally the whole time I've been thinking about how like I've got to overclock it to save my life. Oh, oh, I'm almost there. Oh, I'm on my tippy toe. Nope, didn't get it. Oh, I dropped it. I got it. Yes. That's insane. Dude, I've almost drooled on it again. This cooler is compatible and is supposed to work for that, but it only works with a really weird, obscure mounting thing. They literally have removed it from their compatibility thing on the website. So now I just have to wait. Guys, look what finally came in the mail. We came out the cooler. Let's go. Oh, and look what else. Look what else. These nuts. I'm just kidding, it's the RAM. The RAM came in too. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. They just have a sticker on them. Dude, I read the manual. Uh, I even asked ChatGPT and ChatGPT was like, yes, DDR5 will work fine. And I was like, is it the same DDR5? And ChatGPT was like, yeah, it's the same DDR5. And I'm like, okay, okay, if ChatGPT says so. All right, I'm not even joking you, not sponsored. This is the stuff that you want. It's just better than everything else. Gamers Nexus tested it. Never use this one, dude. Never, ever use this one. This will give you rabies. Giant blob is the way to go. That's the perfect blob. And you can't argue with me because if you argue with if me- If you argue with me, you're wrong. This is you as a GPU. This is you as a GPU again. And this is the GPU she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> Look how big it is, dude, that's a beefer. Dude, this thing literally came with like a ring? Super Bowl ring. No. It was insane. No way, What? Is, that's like a weapon, bro. No way. You didn't fight with me, bro. Paulie's gonna come get you. Paulie's gonna come get you and he punches hard. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty dumb. Dude, that is huge. <gasps> but if I've got the red AMD, the blue, Intel, and the green, that it's true RGB. You can't be that much of a gamer. If Big Chungus were a thing still, this would be it. I think all I should have to do is plug plug it in, but honestly, I'm terrified. Look at it, it's looking at me, it's like <sighs> Power switchy? So that's coming on, so the motherboard has power. I'm gonna press the power button over here, right here, here we go. Yo! It looks insane! RGB, RGB. Let's go, boys! 
Let's go! Look at that bandwidth. But Big Chungus needed a lot of configuration. All three same time. All three same time. Yeah! <laughs> wow, this is actually probably a very bad idea. I do not suggest this. Before it would actually work for my use case. Like, because it's actually going to be a bit of a challenge to get all three GPUs to be fully utilized. Also having the CPU fully utilized. We got the doodad. <laughs> wow, it's heavy. Oh my god. So I benchmarked it. <laughs> That's pretty sick. 550 watts. 51,000, bro. <laughs> Before overclocking. We want to get this number as high as possible. And then I overclocked it. Shout out Scatterbencher. Enable AI overclock. Oh, you just changed that to AI optimized, dude. Freaking AI. And benchmarked it again. Ooh, it's pulling more watts. Let's go. Let's go. That's like 30 more watts. Poggers? Did a little gaming. It was buttery smooth. Cyberpunk on psycho settings with like the path tracing and all the weird extras. 700 watt. So all I had to do was head out into the wild with it. <laughs> Usually about now is when these videos start to feel a little stupid. But this time, that happened weeks ago, so no worries, dude. So this is a good time to tell you about how Micro Center made all of this possible. Home Power Pro 2? I bet they could power my whole setup for like hours. That way if I don't make it, you guys can blame them. You see, Micro Center is like what every electronic store wishes it could be. It has stuff like this gigantic battery in case you wanna go camping. Rockets, in case you wanna shoot off a rocket while you're camping. Everything you need to build a GigaChad gaming system to keep you warm if you're I, camping. I gotta go back and get the gaming PC. <laughs> Maybe. But Mr. Homeless, there's not a micro center near me. New locations are coming soon. Multiple new locations. So look in the description, go to the map thing, check if one will be close to you. I did the math and you can fly to one with an empty carry-on, build a system, put the system in the carry-on, fly back. Literally, I've done it. Or if that sounds expensive to you, take a road trip with your friends and just show up and new customers get a free 128 gigabyte flash drive just for showing up. 800. I lost count at about 17, 17 or 18, but it's probably 800. Micro Center is special, if not for just the employees that are there. They always seem to actually be educated on what seems like everything in the store. Like snowstorm, like it's gonna be like five degrees, and then I'm gonna have a generator and see if a gaming PC will keep me from dying. It's a very unique way to use yeah. it. And at risk of sounding like a boomer, that's pretty uncommon. <laughs> Most stores you go into, people that work there barely know they work there. Plus, March is monitor madness, so there are some insane monitor deals. And this great deal on 3D printers just for new customers. Just by walking into a micro center, you're like trickle down helping that's me do this. There's my setup. Check out some of the links in the description to help the channel and oh yeah, to help me stay alive. Right now, I'm pulling 300 watts because I haven't fired up a game yet. This thermometer is showing the temperature inside and outside. I think it might actually be working. So while I was getting all this set up, not gonna lie, it felt lonely, scary. Like what if something's out there? What is that mountain lion or something? All right, this is my setup <clears throat> over here. We got Counter-Strike 2, Minecraft, Apex Legends. Over here, we've got PUBG running in the background there. Cyberpunk 2077. We also have a Cinebench. Over here, we've got Rocket League. Call All of this is connected to an AT&T hotspot, which worked surprisingly well. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. And as soon as I got to balling out with my bros, the darkness of the ominous unknown was gone. Nice, does it sound okay? Yeah, it sounds real good. Nice. I'm in a tent. Nice. How's that? Honestly, it could be worse. Got him. Nice. Dude, I have to actually pee in a bottle. <laughs> I can't let any heat out, you know what I'm saying? All right, so right now, I'm pulling 600 watts. I need to pump those numbers up. I think I, if I push that up to 1,200 watts, it might get kind of toasty in here, honestly. Dude, it's nine degrees in here. It's kind of working. It's nine degrees in here. I am still pretty cold. I need the temp to go up. I wonder what max heat is in here. I can see my breath still. <laughs> Dude, I can feel the heat at my, like, knees. <laughs> oh, good shot. Already up to 12 degrees, huh? Yeah, ma'am. I'm cooking. It's like if uh, you were just, like, living in a house that had a really bad heater. But it was okay because you had a $5,000 gaming PC. Yeah. Pretty normal, honestly. I think my Minecraft on the other monitor is making it stutter. I'm pretty sure I've plateaued at 12.7 degrees. I was literally on top of that guy's head. 
I am now running like four games at once. Likely I will crash now. It's like, it'd be crazy if I didn't. Almost a thousand watts. Dang, this tent would be cold without this PC though, man. Yeah. I'd be freezing. So it seemed like everything was working exactly as planned. Right there while we play a game. Gaming was producing the heat that was keeping me from freezing. I'm looting it. Oh, I'm on it. I'm looting it. I'm on it. No, you're just stuck up in the air on my screen. Oh, this could be bad. I looted it. I reloaded. So it was bedtime in a very livable temperature. It's 2 11 a.m. I did some hard gaming sessions to warm it up in here. It's about 14 degrees Celsius. I've got it running a Cinebench R23. I've heard lots of freaky sounds. It feels like I have a $10,000 gaming setup in the middle of nowhere. And um, I'm gonna try to sleep. And then wouldn't you know it, something went terribly wrong. I woke up and my, my PC was off. My PC shut off at about 3.30 a.m. and the temps plummeted. Something died. Oh, that scared me. I'm so cold. Something killed my PC. Like instantly dropped to frigid temperatures. The PC was genuinely heating me and something was wrong with it and I did not know what to do. So cold. My PC is on, but I can't get it to do more, more than a couple hundred watts and it won't output display. I'm freezing. I started to panic, which you should never do in a survival situation. <laughs> my only option now is um, I'm gonna bundle up and uh, hope for the best, because I'm, I'm freezing, bro. I'm freezing, bro, but I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. And I debated it, man. I debated giving up and going home. My sleeping bag wasn't rated for the level of cold I was getting. I've never been this cold outside before, and I could feel it in my bones. I just desperately wanted a warm shower. I know it's somewhat ironic, but I actually have never felt feelings of sympathy like this towards people without proper shelter. It's like there's just nothing you can do to get warm. So, can an AI overclocked Threadripper PC with three GPUs from Micro Center keep you warm in the winter like some Tauntaun guts? Yes, if it's working. <laughs> Well, I made it through the night. I found out that I think a leakage of my heat source was right here where I forgot to zip it up and that um, let in some snow back onto my neck. Can't see out the window anymore. PC down here. And it actually this positioning of it kept my knees so warm. I, I honestly freaked out for a little while though. I freaked out. Um, the case has got the happy anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. Homeless on there. And this is like probably my favorite build I've ever done. Um, and it failed me. To be honest, it failed me a little bit. As you might have noticed, it's breakfast time. So I've got beans, beans and weenies, and weenies, and then spam. And then I already put the beans in here, um, on this little coaster that keeps the, keeps them warm. I'm just gonna go ahead and have a bite. Mm. You want some? That's all right, I'll take care of it. We got another handful, another little handful of beans. Mm, got some weenie in there. Mm, mm. Mm. That's good beans, that's good beans. Good breakfast, good breakfast. I think I'm gonna go for some little Vienna sausages. That's what you wanna see. You wanna see some bourbon in there. Mm-hmm, yeah, you just get a weenie out of there. So great, very good, more beans. So what actually happened? I found out later that it was some sort of bio safety feature. Giant battery runs everything, but I also have a wire that the locals let me run to it. They wouldn't let me in, said I smelled bad. And all I needed to do was click this single button and it would have come on and heated me the whole night. <clears throat> That's good beans.